highest power of the given number is what we have to find that divides the factorial of another number divides the factorial of another number means it completely divides that means the remainder should be zero that means the factorial should actually be a multiple for the given number but first let's look at what does a factorial mean factorial of any number means multiplying all the consecutive natural numbers starting from n to the number itself so if i have to find 8 factorial i'll start from 1 i'll keep on multiplying all the consecutive natural numbers till that number the things that i need to look at is 0 factorial the value is 1 1 factorial the value is also 1 and n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial this is a very very important way in which you can write down the things for example if i have to write 8 factorial i can combine these what is this this is 7 factorial into 8 so n factorial is n into n minus 1 factorial i can also write it as n n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial that means i have combined till 6 i have written it as 6 factorial okay this will be 7 this will be 8 that you will have so the question that we are going to do here is to understand highest power is what is the highest power of 5 in 8 factorial I have already written 8 factorial as 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 into 8. Now, if I combine all the 5s that I have, I have only 1 5. So, if I divide 8 factorial with 5, the remainder would be 0. So, the highest power of 5 which is dividing 8 factorial comes out to be 1. So, highest power of 5 that comes out to be is coming out to be 1. If I look at highest power of 2, I will look at this 2. This is again 2 square. This is again 2 cube. This also has a 2. So, I will combine all the 2's that I have. I will combine all the 3's that I have and I write it in the prime factorization form. So, the highest power of 2 dividing 8 factorial is 7. The highest power of 3 dividing 8 factorial is 2. The highest power of 7 is 1, the highest power of 5 is again 1. This is how we solve the question related to highest power dividing a given factorial. So, let us look at uh, another question that we have. What is the highest power of 5 in 80 factorial? So, the question that we are given is 80 factorial. Now, it is very difficult for me to write 80 factorial as 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into so on, sub so on up to 80. Then combine all the 5s. So, I have an easier method. The method is a two, a four step method. The first step being divide 80 with 5 for the quotient. Omit remainders in any. Now, here I do not have to look at any of the remainders. So, 80 when divided by 5 gives a quotient for 16. Again, divide the quotient that I have obtained with 5 for again the quotient. So, 16 divided by 5 gives a quotient of 3. Remainder of 1, I have omitted it out. Again, 3 divided with 5. Keep on doing so till the time you get 0. And uh, the greatest integer function here represents the quotient, not the remainder. So, the quotient would be 0. So, the highest power of 5 in 80 factorial will be the sum of all the 3 quotients that you have obtained. 16 plus 3 plus 0 which gives you an answer of 19. This is the steps that you follow in order to find out the highest power of a given number in a factorial. Let us look at another question. The question is what is the highest power of 15? in 80 factorial. Now, 15 is not a prime number. I will break 15 as 5 into 3. So, I will split it into two co-prime factors 5 and 3. Find out the highest power of 5 in 80 factorial which I have already done in the previous case which was coming out to be 19. Find out the power of 3 in uh, 80 factorial. So, I will do it with 80. 
uh, with 3, 80 divided by 3 gives a quotient of 26. 26 when divided by 3 gives a quotient of 8. 8 3s are 24 plus 2. So, 8 when divided by 3 gives a quotient of 2. 2 when divided by 3, 0 and so on. So, highest power of 3 would be 26 plus 8 plus 2 which gives you 36. Highest power of 5 which we have already calculated is 19. So, I have 19 5s and I have 36 3s. 15 will be formed by a combination of 5 and 3. So, the highest power of 15 in 80 factorial will be the minimum of the two values which is 19 and 36 which gives me an answer of 19. I hope you are clear with the question. Yeah, if you have to calculate the number of zeros in the end, this is basically the application of just what we have studied. Highest power of a factorial application is finding out the zeros in the end. So, number of ba zero basically refers to the highest power of 10 which can divide the given factorial. 10 can be split into two co-prime factors 2 and 5 because 10 is not a prime. So, we will find out the highest power of 2, we will find out the highest power of 5 whatever is the minimum out of 2 would be my answer. Generally, power of 5 is sufficient for the answer. I am talking about generally power of 5 would be sufficient for the answer because five of power of 5 would always come out to be lesser than the power of 2. So, let us look at the question what are, what are the number of zeros in 75 factorial? I look at the highest power of 5 and 3. So, 75 divided by 15 by, sorry by 5 give me 5 15. 15 divided by 5 give me 3. 3 divided by 5 would give me 0. So, the number of 5s uh, are 15 plus 3 which is 18. That will be my answer. I will not look at 2. If you are looking at 2 basically you are wasting your time because if you look at 2 only, 75 only divided with uh, 2, you will get an answer which is much 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 more than 18 itself in the first step. So, omit these steps, redundant things, only look at the 5 value to get your answer for number of zeros in the end. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You can visit our website edusathi.com to practice more questions on this topic and access other useful information. Like us and follow us on Facebook and Twitter to get exam related information and other such updates. We wish you all the best for your preparations. Thank you and have a good day.